Hey friends, Kim from Stones Hill Homestead. Today's canning recipe is zucchini relish. We're out of zucchini relish. Um, we use this for egg salad, chicken salad, hot dogs, things like that. We're gonna get the zucchini going. The chunked zucchini you can see right here, that is what I'm going to be using for my lasagna casserole in another video. We'll link all these together, hopefully, if I can figure out how to do that. If not, um, it'll be linked in my videos of my, of my playlist. Hey friends, back again, working on a zucchini relish recipe to can from things that were in my freezer. I need to use these up, get these out of the freezer, getting ready for a garden season. So I've already got my 10 cups of diced crushed zucchini in here. I've got my three cups of diced onions. I've got my, um, my peppers, bell peppers. Calls for four red bell peppers, but I do not have red in the freezer. I could have went and bought fresh, but since everything was coming from the freezer, I, I'm just using it that way. I'm using up what I got. So I've got this going on, and now I'm gonna bring this to a boil with my sugar, my vinegar, my turmeric, dry mustard, black pepper, and some celery seed. So I'll be adding those items. So we're gonna start off with my three cups, apple cider vinegar. Then, three cups of sugar. I use Azure Standard, Standard Organic King Sugar. And I'm not going to use quite three cups, and the reason is organic cane sugar just has a little bit stronger flavor, a little bit sweeter flavor, and so I'm just going to cut back a quarter cup or so. Then I'm going to add one teaspoon of turmeric. One teaspoon of dry mustard. It says you can also use mustard seed, but I do have the dry mustard. I'll keep that on hand celery seed, one teaspoon, and then one teaspoon of black pepper. You can get all these from Azure Standard. I need to mix this all up, and I'm going to bring that to a boil. Using my whetstone woodenware. As you can see, I've got shredded, I've got chunked to zucchini, I've got all kinds, but it won't matter. The relish is gonna turn to very mushy anyway. Um, we don't mind that, and especially because once it's all done, it's gonna be going into salads and things like that. Also in, you know, maybe hot dog toppings. Um, we use this for a lot of different things. If I would have made this last summer when the zucchini was fresh, there is something called zucchini chow chow, very similar to this recipe. And that we could eat right out of the jar like a salad. There you go. So I'm gonna continue to cook this. I have to bring this to a boil. Once I bring this to a boil, it will simmer then for 30 minutes. So here we have it. My zucchini relish is cooked down, and now I'm going to pack it into jars.
gonna debubble while I'm doing this. Just to save me a step here. It's warming up as well. They say you don't have to. I'm just an old school person and that's just what I still do. I've got different sizes and pieces of this zucchini relish. Some are cubes, some are shreds. Again, I'm just cleaning out my freezer. I'm just getting this stuff used up and put on my pantry shelf for the summer because I know summer, one, it gets hot in northern Indiana and I'm going to have lots of fresh zucchini to eat and use and that is what I prefer to eat in the summer is use up that fresh that's coming off the plants and then whatever I have left over I will freeze. I got my water bath canner sitting over on the other side of the stove warming up. some zucchini in here. It had some seeds. I tried to get the big seeds out. Um, apparently when I was shredding it before I wasn't paying attention. I didn't seed them out the center like I should have. There was some leftover seeds but I'm not worried. They're cooked down. They're edible. This is just nice to have, like I said, for hamburgers, hot dogs, salads. My weekends are pretty full. I work third shift, and so when the weekend hits, I usually hit the ground running. Um, for those that are interested, I did post about my knee, and we've had the MRI, and there is a seven millimeter bone fragment floating around in there. There is a quadricep tendon they're not able to see due to artifact in the MRI and as the swelling goes down and the fluid drains that will um, be able to be seen better so I'm just waiting for my orthopedic surgeon to give me a buzz and since it did happen at work I'm kind of um, in the in the waiting game with with them and that's okay they are wonderful to work with i'm not concerned about any of that i know they take they'll take good care of me so i i don't even have to think about that looks like i'm gonna have enough of my zucchini sweet relish to put in the fridge and use right away. I'll just let that cool. Looks like I got seven pints. I probably would have had eight pints, but one will go directly in the fridge. So that is perfect. I'm very happy about that. So now the next step in this is we've got to clean the, the lids, rims on those jars. I've got to get those rims cleaned. I use white vinegar. So I'm going to move you over here just so you can see where I'm at. And you always want to clean your rims because if you don't, 
you are sure to have a lid failure. Grab a lid. Today I'm just using the lids that I have. I don't even know what brand they are. Normally four jars is what I like to use. I do have another brand, Superb, that I use for my pressure canner when I'm doing meat only because they're thicker. Um, but four jar jars has been my go-to with that as well. I get those through Azure Standard when they have them. They also carry Superb. And by far, they have been the best price. Again, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies that I talk about. Go. I'm not affiliated with them, so I'm not branded by any means. I just like to show you how to can and the things that you can make with leftover stuff. What's really nice is I'm using up what was in my garden from last year that I had froze because I either thought I was going to use this zucchini through the winter, which I did use quite a bit of it, but it's there was just too much left for me to go into growing season and harvest season with that much in my freezer and I didn't want it to spoil. So I just removed what was in there to make zucchini relish. And another video that is also getting posted soon, I'm not sure how it will fall with this video, I made a zucchini pizza casserole. So that video will also be loaded this week sometime and it'll be a meal prep video and I make lots of meals on the weekend to carry me over through the week because when you're working that many hours in a week it's just really hard to make make dinners make, get your stuff done and i don't have time i i sleep um we just it's just difficult and for families that are, have busy lives it's the best way to do that kind of of meal prep get it done on the weekends if you can for lunches and dinners for those that stay at home, for those that work outside the home, for those that have a small family, those that have a big family, it does not matter. We are all in this together and we just want to get food on our shelves to fill the bellies. So there is the final jar. And now I'm going to this canner, water bath canner, I'm going to move you here, and there's my water bath canner. I'm going to get this going, I'm going to drop those down, you want to make sure your jars are covered, don't burn yourself, make sure those jars are covered, then I take the leftover vinegar that I did not use for cleaning the jars, I'm gonna pour that in. What that does is it helps you after the canning is done to make sure that you have no white film on your jars. It's a great step to have that you don't wanna mess. It really helps with that, that mineral buildup on your jars. So now, gonna bring this to a boil. It's gonna water bath can for 15 minutes for pints for my elevation. Always follow your elevation, water bath canning. And the timer's off. I'm gonna let this 
cool for a little bit and then I will lift the jars out and remove them from the water bath canner. Okay, these have cooled a few more minutes. I'm gonna remove them from the canner. Seven pints of zucchini relish for the pantry shelves. Thank you so much for watching this water bath canning recipe of zucchini relish. Appreciate your time and I hope that you find value in this video today. Would appreciate a thumbs up and a like and a share and a subscribe. And as always, be blessed. Have a great day.